It's the Joe Show with me, Joe. It's Thoughtful Thursday. Normally, I got something really thoughtful, some cool article that's relating to the brain, neuroscience, I don't know, something dope. But today, I want to talk to you about social media and why you should get the f*** off of social media. It's the Joe Show. Welcome to my show. I'm going to tell you right now, if you like my content, subscribe to me or send me to a friend. Let's have a conversation in the comments. Let's interact. Let's blow this channel up. But let's get to it. Social media. Why I think it sucks. The feed. The feed. Standing there looking down at your phone. Neck is bent. Feeling the pressure on those bones. Looking at the feed. Consuming a diet like a pig of anxiety, depression, and envy. Not as wealthy as you wish to be, not as many friends as you wish to have, and not as popular as you think you are the feed. You put it away and try to live your life, but your mind keeps wandering back to the feed. You're hungry to go back for more slop. You open the app up and look back at the feed only to see something else that you think you deserve, that you think you can do, that you think you should have said, that you think you should see, that you think you should look like. It doesn't make us laugh as much as it makes us cry on the inside, that we might see a funny meme. It never leaves us with a dry eye. The feed. Stop looking at the feed. So I don't know if you... I don't know if you've noticed this personally, but I'm just gonna speak for myself here. Whenever I open up Instagram, man, I feel like shit afterwards, dude. I close that app and I never think, I never ever think that was a good use of 15 or 20 minutes if it took that long to look at the feed. Never, dude, never. Constantly when I go on that platform and other platforms too, I'm always looking at people's curated lives and thinking, why can't I be living like that? Why can't I have that money? Why can't I have that look? How come my abs don't look like that? Why don't my biceps look like that? How come my cosplay costumes don't look better? How come my investments aren't paying off more? How come I still have student loan debt? Why am I, uh, whatever it is. Why is my gaming rig not as good? Why are my videos not edited as well? Why can't I play guitar as good as those people? Uh, whatever it is. We all have something that we look at on social media and think, why didn't I think of that? Or how can my life be improved? And I've noticed that when I remove that sort of external influence, when I remove that nonsense from my life, my happiness goes up. So here I am on this Thursday, this thoughtful Thursday, encouraging you to really think about your social media diet and think about if maybe you need to delete some of those apps or at least spend a hell of a lot of less time on them. I deleted my Facebook two years ago because I realized that one, they were tracking me all over the internet and I wasn't cool with that plus mark zuckerberg looks like data from star trek and screw that guy uh and two it really wasn't serving me any purpose whatsoever uh none at all since i deleted it i haven't missed it a day since uh i did in less of an echo chamber uh i have more varied viewpoints around me and surprise surprise i still have friends uh, so I would highly encourage you to, at very least, delete Facebook because they are the biggest offender of, uh, I think, depressing people and also uh, tracking you around the internet. Um, I think Facebook might be the culprit number one for teen depression uh, and anxiety in this country because we just open up the app and compare. We all just compare our lives to each other to this curated fake version on Instagram. Uh, you see all these Instagram thoughts and whatever promoting positivity and then behind closed doors you don't know this but they've got uh, a bunch of cats running around their room uh, their bed is filled with cat hair their whole you can't even see their carpet because there's so much cat hair they've shit all over the bed and, and they're crying in a corner because they're actually not happy you just don't see that uh, because they curate the feeds uh, so that it's just slop let's be honest it's just slop that just is what it is 
Uh, yeah, I have uh, no highly produced uh, content today. Nothing. This is just stream of consciousness. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, subscribe and check out some of my other videos. But uh, this is me encouraging you to get off of social media and go get a goddamn hobby. I've noticed that since I've been making videos, though sometimes I don't feel like making them, and I've been trying to do one almost every single day for a year, uh, I still feel good when I do make them, and it gives me something to do besides look at the nonsense that's on these feeds tiktok i've never been on but that's just because i don't want china tracking me even though at this point i don't even know what they could possibly be tracking you because they don't use uh quite the data points that facebook uses but you just don't know where the future is headed i know that they have a tiktok pixel now so they could actually go down that route and who knows what the chinese government wants to do maybe they want to uh use facial recognition to train an army of drones to kill everybody in the world that's not chinese they'll just stealth kill everybody in the world all at once they're going to build seven billion chinese drones to hunt you down in the great red drone swarm that's going to come and kill you specifically i don't know what they're doing but that could be what they're doing on tiktok hey who knows who's to say who's to say that's probably not happening uh, i've definitely checked it out before but uh, i don't actively use it however the content on tiktok i think is actually more creative than some of the content on instagram and facebook i think tiktok does a good job of curating creativity uh however that being said it is highly addictive and i'm sure that many people when they close tiktok they don't feel much better about themselves because they are comparing their tiktok videos to that other gen zers tiktok videos and be like man why can't i edit my tiktok videos like their tiktok vi videos talk this shit and then they uh get annoyed and then they leave uh the, the then they close tiktok and then they come back to reality and they're all pissed off and upset and then they, their mom comes in their room and is like, hey, I made some meatloaf. And they're like, shut up, mom. Why the f*** are you here? Get out of here. And mom's like, why are you so pissed? I just said I'd make you some meatloaf. And they're like, I don't know. I just can't handle all these emotions. That's what I feel like social media does in a nutshell. So, so what I'm trying to say is find better ways to use social media. I hope you use it responsibly uh, because we all need to, I think, look at our social media diet and really, really, really look on the inside and be thoughtful on how it affects us. Uh, I, like I said, I always get depressed after I look at Instagram. So I've really, really cut back on my Instagram content because I don't like the platform anymore. Uh, that's been today's Thoughtful Thursday. If you like this content, subscribe, hit the bell, send me to a friend, whatever. Uh, mash the uh, subscribe button so you get a notification when I upload a new video. It's pretty much daily. Check out some of my other content. If you like it, yeah, post it somewhere or send it to a friend, as I said. Send it to a, a group chat. That's even better because then more people will see this. But uh, yeah, help me grow this thing. And uh, hopefully come back next week and I'll have something a little bit more highly produced. Until next time, I hope you think about this shit because I love you.